Invokers in HTML are the coolest API that you aren't using. This is right about to drop in all major browsers. It's available in Safari Technology Preview and Firefox and Chrome already. It is so cool. So what are invokers? Well, invokers are a way to run events, things like triggering a modal or a popover without writing JavaScript. Now you can even write custom invokers as well and trigger them with a simple string inside of a button. Let's actually see how this works because that's really super cool. If you haven't used the popover API, you might not be too familiar with this. However, if we just add a simple attribute of popover to this div, you can see that it goes away. Now, typically, if we wanted to toggle or open this popover, we'd be having to reach for JavaScript. But invokers are really interesting because all we need is an ID on this popover, and we could just call this pop. Nice and short, right? And then with that ID, we're gonna want to go ahead and have a command on the button. So the command is what is going to happen. Now there's a handful of predetermined commands or you can write custom ones. And the predetermined ones may grow over time to do all kinds of things. But out of the box right now, the current ones are for mostly controlling dialogues and popovers. So for this command, what we're gonna say is toggle popover. And that's done with a hyphen. And we'll also need to say command four because you know you may have many popovers on your site. So we can say command four is just going to be the ID of the popover. In this case, it is pop. So command four popover. So let's go ahead and give this a try now. If I click open, we can see that our popover opens up. And this was with no JavaScript, just with command and command four. Now, likewise, if we want to have this close button working, we can also come in here and say command and the command will be hide pop over. And this is going to be for also command for and then we give it the ID of pop. So this is so cool because now we have a interactive popover no JavaScript. Let's go ahead and do a second example here where instead of having a popover, we're going to be writing our own custom popover. And so this is going to be scale. We're going to call that scale. The command four is going to be scale and we're going to say scale. Okay. And this time we're going to remove the popover and we're going to say, make me big. Okay, so we're just going to have a basic H1 inside of a div, and that div is going to be scale. Now, obviously, clicking scale isn't going to do anything, considering we're calling the toggle popover. So let's write our own. Now, we're going to call this command something that is easy to remember. And the way we do this is with two hyphens to indicate a custom command here. And we're going to say scale. Now let's head to our JavaScript and let's first get the thing that we're scaling. So we're going to say const heading is equal to document dot get element by ID. And we're going to be passing in here the scale ID that we had. Now all we need to do is add an event listener. So heading add event listener. And the event that we're listening for is something new called command. Okay, so by looking for a command, this is going to fire off an event. Now with this event, we can actually get the name of the event. So we can say if and just to check to make sure it's the correct event, if event dot command is equal to scale the same way that we wrote it with the two hyphens, then what do we want to do? Now we'll want to set the heading dot style dot scale and we're going to take the initial scale value which might not exist. And so let's do a uh, well first we we'll want to parse it. So we'll say parse because this is going to be a string parse float and we're going to parse the heading dot style dot scale. We're going to say if the heading scale exists or just set it the default to be one and we're just going to parse it and then we're going to plus 0 0.1, okay? 
Now when we click scale, you can see it is making it big. Now it's shooting it off the page, so. <laughs> but if you wanted to actually see this look nice, a little quick aside, we could do a transform hyphen origin on here. We could say zero, 50%, bingo, save this. Now it's gonna scale out from the side here, make me big, nice and work. And certainly you could write an ad event listener and do all this yourself. But what's so cool about this API, when you write your HTML, it becomes declarative. It really expresses what this thing does. We're not having to go hunt for JavaScript to understand what's going on here. And we're able to write reusable patterns that use HTML. Now you can even augment this with your front end framework of choice, and it's gonna just make everything even nicer. I love this API and for triggering modals and popovers, it is really quite awesome. Now, which commands actually exist today in the browser? Well, currently we have show modal, close, request close, show popover, hide popover, toggle popover, and then custom ones, which you use the uh, prefix of the two hyphens as you saw in this video. This is a really, really cool API and one that I cannot wait to land in the next version of Safari, which I'm actually running today, so it's not far off. So now's the time to learn and experiment with invokers because these things are coming quick.